Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy, and in today's video, we will do adding and subtracting negative fractions. So, kung makapansin nyo guys, we already have a lot of videos with regards to adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions within our channel. So, dito naman, ang magiging focus natin ay yung negative fractions. Paano nga ba nag add or nag subtract ng negative fractions? So, without further ado, Let's do the stopping. So in number 1, we're given negative 2 over 5 plus 3 over 8. So paano ba simplifying ganito classing fraction or how are we going to add them? Siyempre, you will use the rules. Yung process ng pag-add ng fractions. Second, mag-add lang tayo. We need to apply the rules on how to add positive or negative integers. So first thing you need to do, as you can see as you observe, meron tayong different denominators. So, kailangan natin makuha muna yung uh, least common denominator nila. At yung first step natin doon is to find the least common multiples of 5 and 8. So, process natin is we will do the listing method. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, okay, and so on. And as for the denominator of 8, the multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on. As you can see guys, meron tayo agad itong uh, first number or the smallest number where in naging pareha sila. At ayun yung tinatawag natin least common multiple which is 40. Now as you can see guys, our LCM here is 40. So ang target natin dito is to create or to make these denominators be, equal, be the same, be equal to 40. So we need to multiply something pero syempre, we need to also include our numerator. So may May technique tayo dyan guys, kung para natin malalaman. From 5, ang gawin natin dito, alam, alamin natin uh, ano yung kailangan natin yung multiply We know that we can we can make this by 40 simply by multiplying 8. Pero kung di nyo agad may isip yun, ang gawin nyo rito, bilangin nyo lang to. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At alam natin na multiplier natin is 8. So what will happen here is we will multiply the whole fraction, which is negative 2 over 5, i-multiply natin siya by 8 over 8. Okay? And then for this part naman, plus 3 over 8 naman natin, para malaman natin yung multiplier natin, starting from 8, bilangin natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Meaning, our multiplier here is 5 over 5. Simplify this, negative 2 times 8, that is negative 16, over 5 times 8, which is 40, plus 3 times 5 is 15, over 8 times 5, which is equal to 40. So what will happen here is we will apply the rules on how to add integers. Negative 16 plus positive 15 is equal to negative 1 over your denominator, which is 40. And to simplify your answer, instead of putting here the negative sign, ilagay natin yung negative sign natin dito sa mismong center of the fraction. So, this is the final answer for item number 1. We have the answer of 1 over 40. And don't forget kasi, you always need to simplify your final answer. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have here negative 3 over 8 minus 1 over 4. First thing we need to do is to find the LCD and basically we need to find the least common multiples of 8 and 4. For the denominator of 8, the multiples are 8 16, 24, 32, 40, 
48, and so on. As for the number 4, 4, 8, 16, 24, as for 8, 12, sorry, we have here 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. And as you can see guys, we already have the least common multiple which is equal to 8. Okay? So what will happen here, as you can see, since this one is already 8, kung mapansin mo yung count natin is 1 na lang, hindi na natin kailangan i-multiply pa yung fraction na negative 3 over 8. Nakaparehas nito. So, we will copy negative 3 over 8. Minus, for this 1 fourth, kung mapansin nyo, ang count natin 1 and 2. Ang multiply natin is 2 over 2. And that will give us the answer of 2 over 2. Eight. So, ang rule natin dito guys, yung basic rule natin eh, first, copy ulit natin to, we have negative 3 over 8, change the operation from subtraction, gawin natin addition, and for this positive 2 over 8, since this is positive, change this into negative over 8. Now again, ang rule natin, copy, or subtrahend, change the operation to addition, and if this is positive, changes to negative. Or kung negative man siya, gawin mo siya positive. But this, in our case, this is positive, it will become negative 2 over 8. And we will apply the rules on how to simplify, or sorry, on how to, to add negative integers. We have here negative 3 plus negative 2, that is negative 5, over copy your denominator, which is 8. And to finally simplify our answer, ito dapat yung sign natin ay nasa gitna mismo. So, dapat ito ay maging negative 5 over 8. And this is our final answer for item number 2. So, you know guys, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to add or subtract negative fractions. So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! See you sa ating next video.